Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closed higher on Tuesday, lifted by shares in telecommunication services, banks, and energy sectors. On the economic docket, housing starts dropping 8.7% month over month to 1.162 million in February, and building permits declining 1.6% month over month. Also, the FHFA housing price index rising 0.6% month over month in January, with the Conference Board Consumer Confidence Index declining to 124.1 in March. All while 85% of S&P 500 constituents, they traded higher yesterday. Now after the markets closed, Dow Incorporated will be added to the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average effective prior to the open of trading on April 2nd. These changes follows Dow DuPont's announcement that it is splitting into three companies with Dow Inc. being spun off effective April 2nd. This according to S&P Dow Jones Indices. Meanwhile, Dow DuPont will be removed from the Dow Jones Industrial Average prior to the open of trade on April 2nd and Bright House Financial will also be removed from the S&P 500 affected prior to the open of trade April 3rd. Meanwhile, Asian markets mixed today. The Nikkei down 0.23%, the Hang Seng up 0.56%, China CSI 300 up 1.16%, South Korea's Kospi down 0.15%. European markets trading slightly higher and U.S. futures call for a consolidation at the open. In terms of expectations today, we have paychecks. Lenar, Lululemon, Athletica and PVH Corporation. While on the economic target, 8.30 in the morning, we have the January balance of trade numbers and 10 o'clock, the fourth quarter current account. Now in the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That's looking for 2851.50, while the Nasdaq is in focus with 74.96 in sight. A support base at 73.40 has formed and allowed for a temporary stabilization. Long positions above 73.40 are favored with targets at 74.40 and 74.96 in extension, while the Dow Jones, that's supported by a rising trend line.